Presentation of proclamation designated the month of May 2021 as Maternal Mental Health Awareness Month in Lake County, and Supervisor Paisco will present. Board of Supervisors, County of Lake, State of California proclamation designating the month of May 2021 as Maternal Mental Health Awareness Month in Lake County. Whereas mental, maternal mental health is an issue of great concern to Lake County's parents, families, and healthcare providers. And whereas these disorders can affect any mother, regardless of age, race, or income level. And whereas many women are not adequately informed about, screened, or treated for pregnancy and postpartum mood and anxiety disorders. And whereas heightened awareness and stigma reduction are essential for improving outcomes for mothers, children, families, and communities. And whereas pregnancy and postpartum mood and anxiety disorders are highly treatable through therapeutic intervention, community-based supportive services, and medication. And whereas health service providers and community support systems must be able to identify risk factors and symptoms in order to provide prompt diagnosis, treatment, and support services that enable full and speedy recovery. And whereas Mother, MotherWise is a proactive program that helps mothers and families through the transition with a new baby to prevent and lessen the effects of perinatal mood and anxiety disorders. Funded through Lake County Behavioral Health by Prop 60, Proposition 63, the Mental Health Services Act, MotherWise also enjoys the support of many other local and regional programs, including Sutter, Lakeside Clinic, Community Clinic, Sutter Lakeside Hospital Family Birth Center, Lake County Tribal Health Consortium, Lake County Public Health, Lake Family Resource Center, Redwood Community Services, Inc., Nest Program, Children's Council, Adventist Health Clear Lake, MCHC Lakeview Health Center, First Five Lake Commission, Central Latino, La Voz de la Esperanza, Latino Wellness Center, The Voice of Hope, Circle of Minds Wellness Center, Bloom, Lake County Breastfeeding Coalition, Easter Seals Bay Area, E Center WIC Program, Health Leadership Network, and the Maternal Child Adolescent Health Advisory Board. These diverse groups are working with MotherWise to reduce the frequency and severity of perinatal mood disorder in Lake County. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the Board of Supervisors of the County of Lake does hereby designate the month of May 2021 as M Maternal Mental Health Awareness Month and does commend this observance to all citizens passed and adopted this fourth day of May 2021. Thank you very much. And I believe and I we have Mother Wise with us today. You do. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Jamie White. I uh, work part-time for the MotherWise program, um, and I am here today to thank all of you guys for recognizing this month as Maternal Mental Health Awareness. Um, May 3rd through the 7th is actually um, Maternal Mental Health Awareness Week, so we've um, started it off with the proclamation as well as um, we're working on this year's theme is hashtag um, let me think, making over motherhood. So that is what the focus is on this year. Um, and this year the need is more than ever to share stories and to hear our voices heard. So as many of you guys know, one in four mothers experience some type of perinatal mood and anxiety disorder. And in this county, due to other lying factors, it's about one in two. So about half the moms that we have experience it. These illnesses frequently go unnoticed and untreated. They're often with tragic and long-term consequences for these mothers. So with that being said, we want to thank all of the mothers who have had the courage to reach out and, were ask, um, and ask for help. We're also encouraging all the mothers to participate in the Blue Dot Project. Um, and the Blue Dot is the national symbol for the maternal mental health survivorship support and solidarity. So I brought you guys cool blue dot pens so you can all have some pens. Um, and we're encouraging all mothers to participate in the um, hashtag making over motherhood. It's all over Facebook right now. Um, if you go to the blue dot project um, dot org page, 
they are encouraging moms to reach out. Um, we can also check out the Motherwise main page. We're, that's where all our events are going to be posted. And we are definitely encouraging, um, I know you said reaching out, and that is one of the big things that Motherwise is doing right now. So we are on, um, that is our main goal. As you know, we're all isolated. We have been reaching out to every mom that we know of that is pregnant and um, or had a baby up to a year after the baby is born. And that has been a tremendous um, response from the mothers they are very thankful that they know that they are not alone and that there are people out here that are worried about them and do care so i think that's a that is our main heart and soul right now for motherwise um and it's really it it truly gets to my heart so i thank you guys for doing this and um i encourage everyone to help support motherwise in um, making sure that we can reach out to all these moms and babies and ensure that they do have support. So these are for you guys, and thank you so much. Thank you. And I, and I will just add something that I don't think that um, we can have a conversation about Motherwise without thanking Jacqueline Lee for all the efforts that she's made throughout the years. I believe that I met her right around the time where she started Motherwise. Uh, and it's only blossomed from there and uh, well connected now with the services in the greater county uh, and um, looking forward to what might be coming next because I think she's done an awesome job so far in reaching out and um, making an impact in our community. So thank you to the entire team, uh, but thank you as well to uh, Jacqueline. I second, third, and fourth that. Thank you, Jacqueline. <laughs> I know she's on there. <laughs> I have a comment. Yes. Uh, so. Um, you know, it, it is uh, transitioning into motherhood at any age is difficult, and it, it can be even more isolating in a rural county like ours. And I just remember being a, a mother myself and, and relying so heavily on the network of other moms. And I remember some of my friends going and volunteering to help new moms to the area who didn't know anybody and were feeling very isolated. So it's such an important work that you do, and I'm very, very appreciative. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Looks like we have another comment behind you. No, just the nope. first is coming. Awesome. <laughs> See, we're all supporting each other. <laughs> Thank you so much. We do have a couple hands in the Zoom room. Let's go ahead and start with Director Metcalf. Yes, I, I just wanted to say, I mean, I, I'm, I'm so proud to be a part of this. As uh, was mentioned, our department does help fund uh, the Motherwise program, which um, is just such a tremendous resource for folks here in the community, um, actually a very unique resource in our community. And I just want to, you know, let you all know that I support the work that's going on at Motherwise and the, and the, and the work that the staff does. It's, um, it's tremendous. It's, it's a huge job. And um, I just want to thank them for the work they're doing and um, it's just, again, it's, it's, it's an honor to be a part of the work that they're doing. So I just wanted to give a shout out to them and thank you for the work that they're doing for our community, which is much needed, especially now during this pandemic. So thank you. Thank you. I think it has exacerbated all, uh, all issues that we try to deal with and, and, and uh, find solutions to. And unfortunately, it's, it's made it more difficult. Uh, we have James Isherwood with a comment as well. Yes, uh, good morning again. Um, I'd like to uh, uh, piggyback on, on something that you said, uh, Chair Sabatier, um, in recognizing Jacqueline Lay as the, um, as the driving force for 10 years for this organization. I had the pleasure of being at the, uh, the Genesis meeting for this, um, this project um, about 12 years ago. And um, it, it just, it, um, it fills my heart every time um, I hear the impact that this program has had on the county and moms and families. Um, they do a lot of work with dads as well. Um, and um, I know that um, this effort has made uh, the county better for it. So uh, again, I want to appreciate um, Jacqueline's efforts over the years and, and uh, shout out to the people who are there now. Thank you. Thank you very much. And since we've mentioned her name multiple times and she is with us in the Zoom room, uh, let's go ahead and offer an unmute to Jacqueline Lay. 
Hey, Bruno, thank you. And thank you, James, as well. And uh, I think you guys know, but not everyone listening might know, but I did just recently step down from Motherwise, which was really hard for me. But my mother, my own mother passed away and some other things have been happening. And um, I'm just really thankful for all of the support you have given myself and the program through the years to help us get to where we are. And I'm really, really thankful for Jamie, who is there today, um, and Liz Anderson, Raquel Smith. I was really thankful to have this great team to, you know, leave Motherwise knowing that we we're still in great hands. And, you know, I know they will look forward to all the support going forward. Um, and it's just been a real pleasure of mine to work with and meet so many local families and to be able to help in ways that sometimes are hard to put into words, you know, what the difference makes. But, you know, I know it it did and that that has been really wonderful. And just to be given an opportunity to do that in my community was was wonderful. So I thank you all and thank you all for work in all the areas that you're working in because it's a big job for for everybody. So thanks again and um, you know, just so glad for Liz and Jamie and Raquel. Uh Motherwise is in really great hands. So thank you. Thank you very much. I hate to put Jacqueline on the spot, but do you have an idea of how many mothers you have helped um, over the last 12 years get support and find community? I'm sure it's... Um, this, cause we, I have kind of an idea, but we switched databases. So it's probably like between two and 3,000, I believe. So those are two and 3,000 mothers that if you weren't there would not have received the support needed to you know, have healthy babies and healthy lives and, and, and a healthy family. So I, I, I thank you for, for all your hard work and your team's work um, for, for all the work that you do for the mothers here in Lake County. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. It's, it's been great. And I know they're going to do so much more great stuff as they're officially a nonprofit. So that's exciting, you know, that we, we made a transition and they're ready to go. Thank you very much.